Okay, so I uh, decided to go ahead and do this next video on how to install Cyanogen Mod, and I am going to install the most recent snapshot first. I'm going to pilot that for at least a day, maybe a day and a half, and then I'm going to do the latest nightly update and see what differences there are for the LG G2 uh, D800, which is the AT&T variant. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. You're going to want to go to Syedjamod.com and click Downloads. If you are doing this for the D800, which is what I'm showing you, you'll select the D800 from the left side of the screen. And here you're presented with snapshots and nightlies. I've downloaded the snapshot already and the nightly is still downloading. I was downloading SlimCat too, but that's just taking too long, so I'm going to let it keep going, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this one now. So you've done that, you've downloaded it. Next thing you want to do... You want to find where you downloaded the two. In my case, it's in Downloads. I'm going to... Copy. And I'm going to paste it to my phone. It's my phone storage. I'm going to delete this. I don't need that on there anymore. All right. So I already have, as you can see here. I already have my GAPS, my Parent Android Modular GAPS 4.4.2 from the 7th, and I have Super User in case I need it. Alright. So, I installed it on my phone, or I copied it onto my phone. Let me go ahead and unplug this. I had to actually, um, I just did a video on Paranoid Android, and particularly, peculiarly enough, I could not copy files to my phone. I thought maybe it was just the file I was trying to copy earlier, but apparently it's any file. It hangs, and it's got something to do with the ROM, the ROM because I just went to Paranoid Android, I'm sorry, to OmniROM, and it works just fine. So, let me see. I thought Omni had... Oh, there it does. Okay. So we'll reboot to recovery. If you don't have the options in your power menu to reboot to recovery, you can always use an app called Quick Boot in the Play Store. It's free. There is a pay version, but I'm not even sure what the pay version does over the free version. The free version does exactly what I need to do. I've already done a backup, so I'm going to wipe. Advanced wipe. Dalvik system data and cache. Not going to wipe the internal storage. I can't tell you how many times I've actually seen that posted that somebody wiped their internal storage and I'm not sure how that happens. Um, definitely don't wipe your internal storage. We're going to install and quite simply we're going to select the CM11 snapshot and this is the M3 and our gaps We're just going to flash this without super user and see what happens. I'm going to pause this while this installs. All right, and it's done. We'll hit reboot. I'm going to try turning on the overhead light. I think the natural light's kind of washing this out. See if that helps any at all. I'll pause this while that's going. 
All right, so it did take it a while for it to boot. We let it sit for a few minutes, and we're gonna go through the screens here. Next, I'm gonna log into my existing. I'm gonna pause it while I do that. So I want you to do the side gem mod. You're prompted for your Google account. You go through, do your usual tap, tap, tap. Sign in. Present it with the side gem mod screen here. Let's say next. I guess it's just kind of themed through here. Next. Let me go back for a second. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Next. Finish. I'm going to use the Google Now Launcher. Always. And there we go. Let's go through the menus. Man. Okay. Settings. Lock screen settings here. Okay. Got slider shortcuts. Clock widget. Okay, home is what I expected it to be. Looks like you got some native theme support here. I'll test that. Interface. You got status bar. These. Props over here. Let's see what she's doing. I'm not quite sure about that. It's happened it's happened before, but it usually fixes itself. Alright, so we go through here, your stats bar options. Um You got double tap of sleep there. Quick settings panel. I'll go through these later. Notification drawer. Expanded desktop. Okay, buttons and layout. Quick launch shortcuts. That's interface. Anything special with sound. I see quiet hours there, DSP, the music uh, effects here. Okay, so that's a little different. All right. Display. Wake on plug. Okay, so we have a few different options in here. A little differently. Account about phone. The developer options there. And just so you can see what we got here, this is the side gem mod snapshot in 3D800. So I will use this and have a review for you in a few days.